Ma chambre a la forme d'une cage Le soleil passe son bras par la fenêtre Les chasseurs à ma porte comme les petits soldats The center of Hanoi can be a crowded, noisy and expensive place to live. So after spending a year in this cauldron, I found a place to live across the river in a cheaper, quieter section of town known as Long Bien. Every day on my way to work, I'd drive across the very large Red River. So that meant I usually went over a very famous landmark in Hanoi, the Long Bien Bridge. The bridge was finished in 1903 as part of an ambitious project to build a rail line from the port city of Haiphong through Hanoi to the inland city of Kunming in China. When it was finished, the Paul Dorme Bridge, as it was called, was one of the longest bridges in the Far East, stretching about a mile and a half over the Red River. After independence from the French, the Vietnamese government rechristened it the Long Bien Bridge, and it became a strategic focal point in the war with the U.S. because it was the only bridge over the Red River that connected Haiphong with the rest of North Vietnam. In the late 1960s, the U.S. Air Force bombed the bridge repeatedly, but the Vietnamese promptly repaired it every time. Finally, in 1972, the U.S. hit the bridge with the first large-scale operation to use laser-guided bombs, putting several spans into the water. This put the bridge out of commission for a year, but like an old warrior, the bridge came back and has been in use since then for trains and for two-wheeled traffic. Nowadays, it's not the only bridge, nor the biggest, but it is the most historic. On the bridge are vendors selling produce and even drinks for people who want to get away from the heat of the city and catch a breeze. Beneath the bridge lies a large island of rich alluvial deposits, and this supplies a good portion of the produce to the old quarter in Hanoi. Because of this, it's quite actually a green island of quietude where one can go to escape the city for a few hours. Living on the other side of the river is quite nice and it gives the opportunity to visit a bridge that is sort of a metaphor for Hanoi. A bit old and battered, but still used and very relevant to the people of today. My name is Caleb and this is Long Bien. Hanoi's bridge. <laughs>